Hey guys, what's up? So I have here the Canon EOS M, one of the first mirrorless cameras from Canon. I've been playing around with it for the past few days. Unfortunately, I only have this for three days. That's the policy here with Canon Philippines. But nevertheless, I took some photos, some videos, and I'm going to share my insights and the review on the Canon EOS M. So stay tuned for that. Hi again, so we got here the Canon EOS M. Let's talk about some of the specifications and features of this camera. It's got an 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor with a crop uh, size of 1.6 and it's got an interchangeable lens and it has a Canon EFM mount adapter also and some um, SKUs meaning that you can actually use your typical uh, Canon um, lenses for your DSLRs on this baby right here. Apart from that, it's got the Canon lens EFM 22M, 22mm um, STM lens at f2.0 which is actually quite good and um, this is equivalent of course to 35 millimeters due to the 1.6 uh, crop size factor. It's got a Digic 5 image processor inside, the latest, and it's got this beautiful 3 inch um, touch screen with focus. In terms of design, we've got here an excellent solid body. It's very sturdy in my hand, it feels good. Uh, it weighs roughly about 262 grams and that's kind of heavy, not so much, but um, it's definitely heavier than a typical point and shoot camera. It's definitely heavier than my Sony RX100. And the 262 grams is without the lens. So it's definitely going to be much heavier with the lens attached to it. It's got this hand grip here at the side, so it's perfect for when you're taking stills or video, so you'll have a grip on it. It's got this flashy red color. It comes with other colors, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it's got the hot shoe flash, or hot, sorry, hot, sorry. It's a hot shoe mount on top. You can actually add an, an external flash over here. Unfortunately, it doesn't include a built-in flash. And it's one of the downsides or disadvantages to this camera, as it doesn't include flash, so you gotta rely on the ISO, the high ISO, which I'll be talking about later on, and uh, of course the lens. It's got two internal microphones here, left and right, and it has, an, uh, it has a slot here, it's got an, um, a microphone slot in which you can add um, your external microphone. So let's talk about performance. So I've used it for the past uh, three days now, and I've noticed one particular thing. It's got terrible autofocus. And um, this was addressed recently with the latest uh, firmware update from Canon. However, unfortunately, I don't have the right um, uh, accessories to update the camera, so I wasn't able to test out if the autofocus has been, you know, resolved. And check this out, guys. It's got an 870, this is the battery right here. It's got only an 875 milliampere battery, which is very, very, very small. I'm, um, I'm currently using a Sony RX100 right now to shoot this video, and it's got a 1200 milliampere battery. And this is only 875. And can you imagine, it's got a CMOS sensor, it's quite heavy, it's just the same as a DSLR in a smaller form factor. And, um, I mean, I mean the same as a DSLR in terms of image quality and they're only providing an 875 milliampere battery this needs to be boosted up to at least 1000 milliampere uh, battery so even the Canon S100 I believe has a higher uh, battery uh, capacity so let's put it back in there so as you can see that's where the SD card goes and that's where the battery goes unfortunately there is no 60 frames uh, per second for the uh, Canon EOS M. It, there's only 60 frames per second at 720p but not at 1080p. And my Sony RX which I'm using right now actually uh, has the ability to shoot at 60 frames per second. I'm actually shooting at 60 frames per second right now. 
And another interesting thing is that I had a bit of a hard time figuring out how to disable the autofocus assist red light which can be seen. I believe this is where the light comes out. It was quite annoying especially when you take photos of friends or of objects in, especially at night. It gets to be quite distracting with the you know the glaring red light in your face. Luckily I managed to figure out how to disable it because I did some research and I managed to find out that you have to actually disable it in the custom uh, functions menu over here. So just select custom functions and there's the fourth one you just select disable for the AF assist beam. So as you can see the settings menu is very similar to what you have on a Canon DSLR on a Canon S100 or in any other Canon point and shoot so it's extremely easy to to change settings if you're familiar with the Canon um, uh, with a Canon DSLR for example. And it's got a, this uh, touch screen which is great when uh, when you want to for example, let's see, if you want to, I'll reduce this. So if you want to focus, it's got touch focus. So you can actually use the touch screen to focus, especially on video, which is actually uh, pretty good. So let's say when you're having a video interview, you can actually uh, Press the touch screen and it will focus on certain points based on your touch. So in regards to the video ISO levels, let's check it out. I'm currently, I'll shift it to video mode and I'll check out the ISO. The ISO can go up to 6400 for video and for images, it can go all the way up to 12,800, which is pretty good. And the ISO noise is a lot more improved compared to the, definitely a lot better than what you get on a Canon point and shoot camera. And it's uh, pretty adequate, it's pretty good. And um, you can get actually good shots at night, especially since this one doesn't, the Canon EOS M doesn't come with a built-in flash, which I don't understand why they, can't, they couldn't uh, put it part of the body, even just adding it somewhere here or here they can easily just add a, a, an LED flash or whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, that's the only downside to this camera apart from the uh, slow autofocusing uh, mechanism which should have been addressed, I believe it's been addressed with the latest uh, firmware update. So let's check out how the preview works. So as you can see, I took this video um, the other night actually it was flooded outside our house and as you can see everything is touch screen you can um, uh, move, go through each photo simply by swiping or you can even zoom in and zoom out just like on a, on a, on a smartphone yeah it was pretty flooded outside and I'm, I'll be sharing uh, some of these sample shots so this has been the Canon uh, EOS M. It's currently available here in the Philippines. It, I believe it starts around about uh, 30,000 to 35,000 pesos, depending on the configuration, on the body only or with the uh, built-in lens. And um, if you want a compact camera and you're willing to spend the same price as a DSLR, you can get this. It's good enough, but if I were you, I would personally get myself a DSLR. That's my personal preference. I would get a uh, DSLR, Canon DSLR, and rather getting than a mirrorless uh, camera. As I have more control, I know it might be a little bit more bulkier, but I'll probably get it as I'm more, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more interested in photography, so probably get a larger camera. So this has been the Canon EOS M. So don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Wired Master if you'd like to see more videos, similar videos to this. And if you got any suggestions, don't feel free to post them below. I, I really do read your comments, guys. Don't forget to visit wiredmash.com. And most of all, thanks for watching.